Hello everyone, I'm Jin Teacher from Reading Town. Today our article is entitled, Make Your Bed. So let's not be confused, when we say make your bed, we're not saying you're actually going to build your bed. So let's go into the passage and think about what that word means. So here it says, you will meet 10,000 people before you die. I guess that's some kind of average that people have researched. If you change the lives of just 10 people and those 10 people change the lives of another 10 people, then 800 million lives will change. That's a lot of lives. According to William H. McRaven, a former United States Navy Admiral, so he was a very high position in the Navy, if you want to change the world, start off by making your bed. Making your bed, any ideas? That's right. It's to fix your blankets, make sure you straighten it out. That's called making your bed. A lot of times people in the morning, they're so tired, they wake up, roll out of bed, and they just look back and say, ah, I'll do it later. But making your bed is after you wake up, you make sure that the blanket is nice, right? It's folded out and you have your pillows ready and everything looks nice and perfect. That's making your bed. So he said, if you want to change the world, make your bed first. So let's kind of think about what he talks about. What, what, are, what does he mean? So here it says, McRaven learned 10 lessons at basic training camp. Basic training camp is what they start off with when they become a soldier. Braving six torturous months of cold midnight swims, unending workouts, and sleepless nights. So braving six torturous months. So six months. Braving means he was able to have the courage to make it through the six months. Torturous, we see the root word torture, which means very painful, right? Something that is not comfortable. So to torture someone means to really make them uh, feel difficult or give them a hard time. So braving six torturous months of cold midnight swim. So at midnight, late at night, 12 o'clock at night, they will go out to swim, not sleep. Unending workouts, they will continue to exercise and they couldn't stop. Sleepless nights, nights where they couldn't sleep. So six months of that, that's what he went through. The camp's goal was to weed out the weaklings through the constant hardships, stress, and failure. So the purpose of this training camp was to put them into very difficult situations. So the people who say, oh, I can't do it, I quit, that those people will be taken out. So on purpose, they made the training camp very difficult. So he went through six months of that, of constant hardship. Constant means unending, continuous. Hardship is difficulties, a hard time. Stress and failure. How does a person endure an impossible situation? Endure means continue or keep going. Learn to make your bed to perfection. Completing this simple daily task shows that little accomplishments matter. So let's go back. So why does the Admiral <clears throat> say that making your bed is the most important? Well, doing the little things is very important. If you think that doing something so small is not important, then you cannot do greater things. So that's why the Admiral, Admiral McRaven, said that start with the small, simple daily tasks. Why? Because it shows that those little things matter or are important. Perfectly folded blankets, centered pillows, and tight corners might not make anyone feel better. However, each time the task is completed, it provides a sense of achievement. So what he's saying is, even if you do something very little, even if it's a simple question that you get correct, it's something that you did correct and you did right. That's something you should be proud of and it does matter. This sense provides encouragement to achieve another goal. On miserable days, some may find hope for a better tomorrow knowing that he or she will sleep in a perfectly made bed. So even if you had a horrible day, it was raining, you forgot your books, you couldn't answer any questions correctly at school, you forgot your lunch, the lunch wasn't great. All of these things you could have a miserable day, but when you go home, you look at your bed and it's perfect and it gives you hope that maybe tomorrow will be better. That's why always remember that little things in life matter. So even though this passage was about making your bed, does it really focus today, I need to go and make a perfect bed? No, it's beyond that message. It's saying that the little things matter. Even starting your day with a little thing can go a long way into making the day great or even starting the next day on a high note. So whether it's asking uh, or answering a simple question, do your best because that leads to greater achievement is the point of today's passage. So I hope you guys 
understand the importance of why making our beds is important, but also more than that, it helps us to accomplish greater things throughout the day. Every little thing matters. Let's not forget that. Let's look at uh, the passage and answering this section. After reading this article, complete the sentences below. What did William H. McRaven, the Admiral, say about changing the world? He said, if you want to change the world, start off by making your what? Making your day? Making your plans? Right. He said, making your, the title of our article, making your bed. So once again, remember, making your bed, does that mean getting a hammer and nails and a wood board? No, it just means straightening out your blankets, putting your pillows where it belongs, make your bed. Number uh, 1B, how was the training camp for McRaven? So training camp is what the soldiers do uh, before they go into uh, active service, and that's the training. So it was torturous, was torturous with cold midnight swims, unending workouts, and what kind of nights? Cold nights? That's not what we read. What do we do at night? That's right, we sleep. But could they sleep? No. So sleepless means no sleep. So nights without sleep, sleepless nights. I don't know about you, but I think most people would not be able to make six months of that. All right, last one, C, according to the article, why is it important to make your bed? Completing this simple daily task provides a sense of happiness, sense of freedom. What does it make us feel? It gives us a sense of, that's right, achievement. Achievement is something that you did, that you can be proud of, something that you were able to do um, with a lot of skill or with a lot of energy. Here, achievement means even in the little things you do, that's something that you could do very well. So it's something that you did. And look at the quote from William H. McRaven, the Admiral. If you can't do the little things right, you will never do the big things right. I think that's a very important lesson. Let's go into our last exercise for today. Number two, uh, fill in each blank with the appropriate word to complete the sentence. So in A, it says the camp's goal was to weed out the weaklings through what kind of hardships, stress, and failure. So uh, we read about this earlier. Um, we said that it's not a very comfortable kind of hardship or it's not a very short hardship, but it doesn't end very shortly. So what can we say? Constant, continuous, keeps on going, constant hardship. So constant hardship, I don't think that's a situation that anybody would like to be in. But during the training, that's what they do to weed out, meaning get rid of, pull out uh, the weaklings, the soldiers who are not strong enough. Okay, let's look at exercise B. Uh, this sense provides something to achieve another goal. So if you have another goal, it gives you what? So it gives you... I think in Korean it's 격려해 줍니다. So it gives you uh, another sense of encouragement. Encouragement means you don't want to give up, right? So it keeps you, pushes you to keep going and doing greater things or more goals. So encouragement. So sometimes when your friends are sad or you did something bad, they all need an encouragement. Pat on the back saying, it's okay, you can do it next time. That's an encouragement. Uh, exercise C, always remember that the little things in life, what? The little things in life aren't important? No, that's not what we learned. The little things in life matter. Matter means are important, is important. So the little things that you do for your parents, it matters. The things that you do for your teachers, they all matter. So they are all important. So remember, the little things in life matter. And if you can't even do something so small like making your bed, how can you become something great? So thinking about the Admiral's words, I hope you guys make every little thing matter today. Thank you very much. I'll see you around next time.